So on the show, Jade, we uh, we love to do some like reaction videos, right? On yeah. TikTok, Instagram, there's always some fun money uh, videos <laughs> out there that we see. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes before the show, we're like, oh, I'll do a quick watch. Or one of us sees it and finds it before the show to play it. But this clip, James came in during the break, and we have not seen. I'm scared. And he's like, I really want you to see this clip live on the show. And I'm so we scared said, of what we might find. We said, okay, we are brave, courageous women, Jade. We can do this. But <laughs> uh, So we just heard it's about car loans, so that's all we know. All right, James, play the video. Sir, what is your car payment? Uh, mine is 1325. And what kind of vehicle is that? It's a 22 Ford Raptor. Okay. You have another payment? I do actually. My wife's hers is a thousand. It's a 22 Ford Expedition. Perfect. Hey, ma'am. What is your car payment? 1386. And what kind of car requires a 1386 dollar payment? A 2022 Grand Wagoneer Series Three. Hey sir, what is your car payment? I got a couple of them, but the first one's fourteen forty-five. What kind of car is that? That's a new GMC Sierra twenty-five hundred Denali. Holy What's crap! Uh, it's a wide body so CTSV. That's eleven sixty-one. Nice pay. Oh my gosh! Okay, so the video is a guy speak. with a phone going through, and it looks like an office. I don't even know where they are asking different people what their car payments are. So they're there on video. It's a car dealership. Oh, it's a car dealership. It's the people that work at the dealership. Oh. These are their cars, James. Y'all, I can't speak, Rachel. Talking about, holy crap. I, can I say that? When I use an example, no when words. I just use an example of a car payment on the show and I'm like, yeah, you know, a $500 car payment. Like, well, yeah. That feels big. We're talking... We're talking in the thousands. I was prepared to talk about the average car payment, which is like 717. I was prepared to yell at people for 717. <laughs> my my guy has a $1,400. $1,400 for car one. For one car. One car. For one car. Oh, Lord. So that's oh. what's crazy is. Oh, the <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. Give us some vibes, James. Oh, you got this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Rachel, go Jay. Just go. I, what, what is what is happening? Go. I, these I'm people are dumb. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I got Rachel. You are so kind, and <laughs> and you need to pray for me right now because this is it, this is I've lost my words. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Thirteen, fourteen, twelve hundred on cars on one vehicle. You are stealing. You are robbing from your future. You're robbing. You're robbing yourself. I said it. I said it before the break. I said, Rachel, the car payment, that is the thing. Yep, that is yep. the gap that keeps the middle class from becoming and building wealth. Because wealth. if you invested that car payment, oh, what it would be. Oh, what I mean, it would be. If I, I was prepared, like I said, I was prepared to talk about the average car payment, $717 right. for one person. And if you invested that money just over 30 years at a, a you know, 10% rate, that's over $1.4 million. Yep. 1.4 million. And then I thought, okay, because the little article that we had here was talking about how, you know, people are paying, shelling out more than a thousand dollars a month on their cars. And I'm like, okay, well, a thousand dollars invested for that same term, over two million dollars. Two million dollars. That you can have. Two million dollars. And I just, I hear, we hear all the time, Rachel, people, well, you know, today in today's economy, it's impossible to get a million dollars. It's impossible to get ahead the way my bank account is set up. No, the way your bank account is set up is with you spending all that you own. A stupid person spends all that they get. That's a, that's a paraphrase from what the Bible says. A foolish man spends everything he gets. Y'all are spending everything you get on a car note. For what? For it to be For parked what? in a car, in a parking lot, outside, in the rain, while you're inside heating up your lean cuisine in the microwave. You're not even getting to drive it because you're working all day. What? Rachel, tell me to go away because I, I'm not I, telling I need, you anything, I need to go Jay, under the I... desk. I need to go under the desk right now. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, because here, here's the deal. It's the truth. And what's, and what's hard is that we hear day in and day out the struggle that people are in. Yes. And the problem is for, for a lot of people, I'm not going to blame this on everyone, but for a lot of people, it is the amount of debt that they carry. Yes. So then you narrow it down to a car loan, 
which in my opinion, I told you this at the break. I'm like, it is, it, it's the hardest it's the hardest piece of debt for me to justify yeah. in my head. Because people can say a student loan, my degree, it's going to get me a job or this or that, whatever. But a car but a, but a car loan is an asset that goes down in value. It goes down. And it's a thing that just gets you from point A to point B. Yes. And you don't have to have it, right? You don't have to have this like luxurious thing. And then on top of that, yeah. going into debt, having that payment where you could be wise and thinking about future self. Yes. And investing that instead and still having a great car. Like, I'm not talking about you have to drive a beater right. the whole time. You can not, still have yeah. a great car, but you actually save up and pay for it. You own it. So there's a sense of ownership that other people don't own your future and own your life. That's right. And there, there is something about that car payment, the car loan, that whole that whole debt. It is a mindset shift. And when it you is. said it, it keeps the middle class. It does. There. Look, we know, and I'm sure this stat, ha- I mean, it's this stat is changing all the time, but the last time I wrote it down, 61% of people living to paycheck to paycheck. I think I saw one recently that said like 73 people, uh, percent of people living paycheck to paycheck. And I, I, I did the math on this. I looked at a couple of stats and it said 43% of people have some sort of car loan, like car loan through the bank. And then the other 25% of people have leases, not mm. like you know, the typical loan. So if you add that number up, Rachel, yep, yep. that is suspiciously close to the 61% that are living paycheck to Dude. paycheck. And y'all are wondering why you don't have any money out here. That's and the, the magic of the of the $1,100 that's back of margin in your budget month to month, if you didn't have that payment, the, that paycheck to paycheck stat would be totally different. It'd be totally different. The paycheck, the, the car note, Rachel, is keeping American people living paycheck to paycheck. It is keeping you broke. Now we've yelled and (laughs) we have given myself high blood pressure and all of the things. My armpits are sweating. I love a Jade Rance. It's my favorite. (laughs) Let's talk about what you can do instead. Let's talk. I mean, you guys know, y'all know my story. Can I please just tell you guys, especially, and I have to mention this because culture now is very work from home. Work from home culture 2020 did that. Sam and I sold our second vehicle back in, what was it, Sam? 2010? And we were a one car family from 2010 until basically four months ago. One car. If we did it. And can I tell you the amount of money we saved, and Rachel? Two kids, and two and kids. And two kids. Yes. So what does that look like, Jade? Like, like walk people through. Because people are yeah. hearing you and they're thinking, no, because my, you know, my, I, I, yeah. I need a car just to get da 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 Like, I grew up as a one car family. Yeah. And I, so... It's all like what you said earlier. It's formatting your brain to go, what do I value? What what do the world tells us we need two cars and they need to be brand yeah. new cars and but what do you value? I valued being debt free. My husband valued being debt free and for us at the time we had a Hummer, an H3 Hummer and the payment was like 457 dollars a month. We had a Jeep Liberty, it was 303 a month. We sold the Hummer we were upside down on it, so we had to take out a small loan for yep. like two or three thousand dollars. But it freed up over twenty-five thousand dollars of debt for us. Uh, you know, so we did that, and we worked on one car. We paid off that one car, and do you know what we have now, Rachel? Money, Jen. money, and a paid-off car. And then we bought our next car. We took those payments, added them up, paid for our next car in cash, and that's how you do it, folks. That's it. Not, not much more to say, Jade. Well done, well done. This is the Ramsey Show.